Hello, my awesome Virgos. Happy Friday to you. Happy weekend to you. This is Monica with Pisces Moon Intuitive. <clears throat> Virgo, you want a soulmate reading to check out on the latest energies between you and your soulmate. First, as usual, we're going to ask what's coming up for you, what you be dealing with, facing in your life, and how you're currently doing on your soulmate journey. Second part of this video, we're going to ask about your soulmate. Whoever it is you're thinking of concentrating on while watching this video, <clears throat> whether you're currently in contact with them or not, the universe, please step in, show very clear and important messages for the sign of Virgo, for Virgo's highest good, please. The universe, please show us what's coming up for Virgo in their life and how is Virgo currently doing on their Sami journey? What's coming up for Virgo in their life and how is Virgo currently doing on their soulmate journey. <clears throat> Extra message. Let's see, Virgo, what's happening. Wow, your job is showing up again. The environment at your work. <clears throat> you're bored with your job. Yeah, you're bored with it. You're excellent at what you do, but you feel that you don't belong there. Yeah, you don't feel you belong in that environment, but you're very good at what you do. I think you've learned everything you could possibly learn there, and you feel bored. Yeah, you are you are uh, feeling like you need something else, something more exciting. <clears throat> Ooh. The person that you've been dealing with, the so-called soulmate, loves you a lot, but... They haven't been present in your life, Virgo. For some reason, they kind of in and out of your life, not really expressing how they feel, not really committing to you. There's another person showing up here for you that it looks like you already know, showing up here as King of Wands. Yeah. A new person that you already met, beside your soulmate, of course. Let me see your subconscious position. Yeah, you're so bored. Um with the place where you work or with the job you do because you've learned everything you could have possibly learned. You absorb information quickly. Yeah, you're a quick learner and you are diligent, you are detailed. Plus, it looks like wherever it is you work, they don't appreciate you enough for the quality of work you do, the amount of work you do. Uh, you're not getting paid enough for the quality of work you do. You see this? Yeah, you, honestly, you should be getting substantially more, yeah, for what, for the quality of work you do. Yeah, Virgo. Mm -hmm. um, but you recognize that, yeah, you're not appreciated like you should be. You know when they're going to appreciate you? After you leave. That's when they're going to realize how good they had it when you're gone, when you're missing. Yeah, universe, please show us what's coming up for Virgo. And how is Virgo currently doing on their soulmate journey? You are very good, Virgo, at what you do. Wow, three kings are popping up here in one spread. Yeah, new job showing up here for you. Yeah, whether it's a new job, new position, new place of employment, new way of doing business. Yeah, where well, you're going to be appreciated. Yeah. Yeah, you're so disappointed. You are extremely disappointed in this relationship that you're letting go of. You're very disappointed, yeah, in this connection you've been in. You feel unreciprocated, unloved, uncared for by this person, yeah. Oh, I like the, the new soulmate showing up here. Somebody you already met, whether you're aware of the interest in you yet or not. Someone who is very passionate, someone who's very attracted to you, Virgo, very drawn to you. Yeah, so take it easy. Don't rush too quickly into intimacy. Allow yourself the time to get to know them. Allow them the time to get to know you and then proceed with caution. Don't be too eager, okay? Because that's when we make the most mistakes, when we uh, jump into intimacy too quickly without giving ourselves the time to get to know the person and them to get to know you okay yeah so proceed with caution give yourself time 
concentrate on yourself right now universe please show us what's coming up for virgo how is virgo currently doing on their soulmate journey yeah you are manifesting something new that has to do with your job or business yes you are very powerful independent strong-willed beautiful virgo i'm loving it look how beautiful your energy is yeah you see this you are a fabulous empress highly vibrational person who can offer a healthy balanced relationship yeah yes but you are picky selective which is good absolutely you have to be picky selective right you have to yeah you have to hold on to your standards Ooh, yeah so there's a lot of drama going on at your job you see this uh yeah a lot of chaos drama gossip that is distracting you that is draining you oh my goodness the person that you've been dealing with that you're letting go of at this time that loves you but not really shows it doesn't show it to you shows uh, that uh, this has been a toxic relationship you see the devil with seven of cups this has been a toxic relationship you don't feel loved appreciated you're letting them go you decided that you need to let them go yeah you are not happy with that person's behavior in your life yeah um i can't wait to see what shows up on them in a minute let me see universe please show us what's coming up for virgo in their life and how is virgo currently doing on their soulmate journey <clears throat> Ooh. so new love dawning for you from somebody else new love showing up here for you yeah yeah this is you you're gonna be making huge changes in your life in the next two years 2024 2025 yeah major changes oh boy so the person that loves you so deeply but is not with you because they really don't meet you halfway is showing up here as proud emperor it's hard for them to commit to express emotions but they need to learn that how to do it in order to have a relationship with you you're not gonna um accept this kind of wishy-washy behavior in your life you want something solid uh you want a solid stable relationship because you are a highly vibrational person empress you're not gonna put up with this kind of wishy-washy behavior it's gonna turn you off emotionally let me see what's going on with that person the universe please show us what's going on currently with that soulmate of virgo that virgo has been dealing with that showed up just showed up as emperor and king of cups what's going on currently with that soulmate of virgo and how is that soulmate of virgo towards virgo at this time especially emotionally wow so they want to come back to you but they're very slow to action very slow yeah this is them wanting to manifest you back in their life yeah they do they want to yeah they realize how much you mean to them but too bad they didn't realize that when they had you <clears throat> yeah again for the second time they're showing up as proud emperor with ego pride uh problem communicating but this is showing up in their subconscious position which shows me greatly that this person is realizing what the issue is what the problem is you see why are they losing you they know they can't continue behaving the same way you're not going to take them seriously you're not going to give them new beginning if they come to you with the same wishy-washy behavior problem communicating listening expressing emotions committing you're not going to find that acceptable in your life yeah universe please show us what is going on currently with that soulmate of Virgo? Yeah, they want to manifest you back in their life. <clears throat> so uh, there's a lot of drama at your job, Virgo. And this Your job is showing up here for some reason. Again, um, a lot of chaos, drama, uh, gossip. So stay away from gossipers. Yeah, don't let them pull you into the drama circles. Yeah something is going on at your job this is deceit betrayal 
There's also a toxic relative showing up here for you who want to resurface in your life again. Yeah, toxic family members. We all have them, right? We all have them, but you have a bunch of them. Oh, yeah, you have a bunch of them. You have a bunch of toxic relatives, chaotic relatives that want to resurface in your life again. No, 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 no. That's a no, no. Yeah, you don't need any more drama, Virgo, from the past. There's something brewing at your job. Yeah, something brewing. Uh, something serious. You see this? This is disagreements between people, fights, arguments, yeah, drama, chaos. Universe, please show us. And you don't want to be a part of it. No, you want some peace. Yeah, you just want to go to work and do your job. You don't want to be involved in this chaos. No. This person, thanks to you, Virgo, this person realizes the mistakes they've been making and why they feel unhappy with their decisions. Yeah. They feel unhappy without you. Yeah. It's like they don't feel sense of purpose. It's like ne they've never been with a person of your high quality. Yeah. They've been with people uh, who allow them to <clears throat> come and go as they please. Yeah. You don't find this behavior acceptable. It turns you off emotionally. They realize how important you are to them. Yeah. Wow, Virgo. I love the new soulmate energy. The king of wands. Let me see what's going on here. It was to show us what is going on currently with that soulmate of Virgo that Virgo has been dealing with. You guys have soul lessons to learn from each other. You see this? So if you decide to use your free will in such a way where you don't let them come back to you, uh, you're going to see them again in future incarnations. Yeah, you have soul lessons to learn from each other. This person is still holding on to you, hoping, but instead of hoping, they need to do inner work. They need to uh, finally communicate effectively, uh, be present physically in your life. Yeah. Uh, they need to actually do work on this relationship. This is them. Oh, they spying on you. They checking up on you through videos like this, social media, in person, any way they can. Um, private readings to see what you're thinking, feeling, what you're planning, what your current state of mind is. They love you a lot. That's why they're holding on to you. Yeah, that's why they're checking up on you. They love you a lot, but now, you know, they need to. They can't just think that you will possibly put your life on hold for them. They, they don't think that way, do they? I hope not, because Virgo, you have the right to move on with your life. If they can't meet you halfway, somebody else will. You cannot put your life on hold for anyone. It's not fair to you. Yeah, we're going to go into your extended reading. Obviously, we're going to ask about this soulmate, but also new person entering your life that showed up as king of wands first however we're going to ask about this soulmate's true genuine long-term intentions and plans for you at this time what they planning long term then we're going to ask what they currently hiding from you whether purposely or can communicate for whatever reason but the universe feels you need to be aware of for your highest good and of course at the end we're going to ask advice for you on how to best handle this soulmate connection at this time and anything else you need to know about your life, including new soulmate entering your life, the King of Wands energy, which I love, new chapters, new beginnings in your life, also your health, finances, business, job opportunities, family matters, friendships, whatever it is you need to know, they'll show it at the end of the reading as well. So for go click on the extended link below this video in the description box below, and I'll see you there. Love you guys.